little moon beams welcome back to body life youtube channel as you can tell by the title of today's video we are going to be doing a pick a card reading i'm going to do things a little differently tonight mostly because i feel called to it but also i feel that using oracle cards in order to help you decide which message is meant for you or help you find the message that's meant for you acts as like a double reading if you think about it. So I'm going to be working with the, um, what is this deck? This is the Enchant Enchanted Map by Colette Baron reed um, We are going to be going through three different piles. Pile number one is going to be the Gentle Gardener. For those of you guys that feel called to go with pile number one, aka the Gentle Gardener. Pile number two will be encouragement with two giraffes. And pile number three will be peaks of joy. So just allow yourself to sit with each of these cards and I'm going to connect with spirit. This one's having a hard time focusing and maybe that's a, mess a message all by itself. But um, I'm going to channel for each of the readings, for each of the piles. Each of the piles will be linked down below and I will meet you at your timestamp. So if you chose the gentle gardener, this is the message that is meant for you. As I'm shuffling, I want to remind you or tell you for the first time, if you've never used this Oracle deck before, what the meaning of this card represents. Gentle Gardener is about being very patient, kind, and nurturing of seeds that you've already planted. You watch them as you grow. You watch in awe as it grows, but you don't want to rush through or force the process to completion. So if you've set an intention for something, wow, first card to jump out was the Wheel of Fortune. If you set an intention for something, this is about allowing time, fate, in or to, um, to, to move, right? The other thing that's standing out to me too with the Wheel of Fortune is the idea that nothing... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just allow my intuition to just vibe. The first thing that Spirit just said is nothing good lasts forever. As soon as I hear that, I, he I feel a sense of shock because... I hear, I'm hearing someone say, I'm here for positive messages. I'm, I'm here for positive messages and I want to be uplifted. That didn't feel uplifting. So the thing is, is that what spirit is showing is that quote unquote, nothing good lasts forever. It's saying the law of imperme impermeance. The only thing that we can expect or the only thing that stays constant is the fact that there is change. So spirit right away wants to talk about the energy or the spirit of change in your life. You who chose the gentle gardener. As you are in the midst of change, whatever that looks like, you're going to want to embody patience, grace, kindness. I'm also hearing transparency. Spirit wants you to talk to it or talk to your guides or talk about your feelings, period. The good feelings, the bad feelings, the things that it is that you understand, the things that it is that you don't understand. Spirit particularly wants to hear every one of your cognitions. It wants to hear it and it understands it. Some of you guys feel like you're not being understood. You feel like you may not even be able to put your feelings together. So if you were to talk about things, it would be, it would come out jumbled. It wouldn't make sense. Some of you guys feel like if you were to, Spirit is saying this and like laughing, they say that if you were to talk about all your feelings and all the things that are going on in your head, you feel like you would be locked up or locked up and the key thrown away. Like you just, <laughs> Spirit is saying that you're too hard on yourself when it comes to How, how erratic and how weird or uncontrollable you think that you are. There's this, it's uncontrollable is a specific word to use. I've never really described, I've never in my life feel like I've ever used that to describe anybody that is that I know, but that's a specific message for someone. Someone feels like 
they are erratic and prone to extreme forms of expressing themselves or extreme extreme drastic changes within their life um as i'm hearing as i'm talking to you guys i'm hearing a lot of noise um psychic noise in the background this is kind of showing me that you guys might be in a, a period in your life where there's a lot of spiritual activity and um chaos like noise that or maybe you have a lot of thoughts or maybe there's a lot of people it doesn't feel like it's necessarily people around you it feels like it's noise within your head um spirit is saying it's like static on a tv um so they're just talking about they're just talking about how many thoughts you have and how loud it can get inside of your body okay yeah so the next cards that came out just now are the tower card and the six of swords so talk about change and transition and moving forward i was actually talking about this earlier while i was doing the daily reading for bahati love notes and the subscribers on instagram bahati life instagram so and interestingly enough this card jumped out for that so there's this really strong pull towards change transition metamorphosizing evolution for you who chose gentle gardener i don't know if this has been totally abrupt change because this is a general a very specific reading for a general audience so how you fit in with this everyone's going to be different allow the message to fall where it does however the Tower card and Six of Swords showing up is abrupt change, incredible change, drastic change that happened within you or around you that is ushering you forward and helping you to move forward. Um, as I'm talking to you guys, I am also getting energy sh shooting through my hands. So some of you guys will really benefit from some Reiki work, some Reiki healing, not um, exclusively to fix anything that's broken. Spirit wants to say that. We're not fixing anything that's broken. We're helping you cool. I just heard Spirit say in a Batman, not Batman, um, Bart Simpson. That's very specific. A Bart Simpson reference. They said, cool your jets, man. Like literally just like that. So Spirit, I don't know if that's also a specific message for you, but that's a specific, that's specifically what is it I heard. Spirit is saying, cool your jets, man. Like, calm 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 or it's set the intention to allow yourself to re release pent up anxiety aggression movement things that you just it starts to it helps to um turn the channel of the static noise that is that you're hearing within your ears or within your psychic senses um let me ask spirit because i i also feel like i want to make sure that i'm serving everybody who chose the gentle gardener Spirit is showing, um, Spirit is showing me a bat, just gave me a vision of a bat flying away. Um, and basically this is, okay, Spirit is talking about the end of the dark night of your soul and a period, um, of drastic completion. That's exact, that sounds wild, but pretty much what it is, and Spirit is talking about the number 10, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune card here. So, the number 9... I know that I'm talking about number 10, but before 10 is number 9. And 9 is the card of, 9 is the number of, like, pack, not packing, yeah, packing things up and putting things away because you're going to start the, the next journey. It's the end of the journey. So there has been something here that has completely ended. I just heard um, Spirit is saying that for some of you guys, um, X-Files, do 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 like not is it x file something about science science scientism or si oh fuck man I'm having like hearing a lot um x files or un unsolved mysteries um also what is it called um the twilight zone some of you guys are were in a period of disorientation where you feel like when you are being or or you're start you're being um, you're starting something and you feel disoriented and trying to find your way. You feel like you've lost your way. 
um, but really what it is that you're you're finding your way through new new land new life new for some of you guys it's college experiences or educational new 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 chapters in your life new lands new places to go new ventures and things to see in people so spirit is saying that Yeah, some of you guys feel really dis disoriented, but they're talking about X-Files, they're talking about the Twilight Zone, and they're talking about unsolved mysteries. Um, okay, this might actually be a specific message for someone um, about, like, let's say there's like, um, this kind of gives me chills, but let's say someone who's watching this right now has an unresolved, like, murder or something, like something violent that happened, um, someone is being called right now to gently move away from those circumstances and to allow it to rest and spirit is giving you this is a very specific message someone is is telling you to give to give you permission to let this go and to let it lay lay it to rest and that will give it peace the more that you give yourself peace the more that you give the person peace and the circumstances and the more that you're digging for answers um the more that you dig up um, not irritability, but instability and spiritual static. Uh, that's a very specific message for someone. And now I feel called to pull this card. Yeah. Hangman, some of you guys feel like you're, you've gone as far as you can and you can't believe that this is the end of the chapter. You can't believe and you just cannot accept that this is where the journey ends. Like this is where you, it's like you cannot pass go, you cannot pay, collect $200. But Spirit is saying that it's disorienting like to sit with this for too long and to understand how all of this how all of what happened in your life or in this situation serves the greater good in such a painful thing is disorienting because it will never make sense it defies human logic um so there's a very specific message for those who chose the gentle gardener that whatever circumstance that is that you're dealing with, that you are really grappling with within yourself, that is creating spiritual chaos and distress, disorder, and taking, stealing away your peace, spirit is really telling you to let this, lay it to rest, let it go. Um, you're not letting go of the memory or you're not letting go of how someone has hurt you or bombarded you or the worst things that have happened. You're not letting that go you are allowing, what you are letting go is the grip that it has on you. The grip that it's been holding on you and spirit is allowing you um, and encouraging you to allow yourself to release, uh, to surrender. The more that, again, spirit is saying is the more that you find um, peace within the situation, the more that the situation will receive the blessing of peace, which is ultimately what it is that you want. Um, Wow. Um, if not, Spirit says that life is going to feel like the twilight zone. It's not going to make sense for you. And you are still here. And you are still journeying. And you are meant to carry forward. And you are meant to help others. And you are meant to be helped. And life is meant to be lived um, in full with peace with what has happened. Okay. That is literally the specific message. Um, that was short, sweet, and to the point. Um, maybe not so sweet, but it's literally to the point. If there's any other additional messages, please, guys, let me know down in the comments if this resonates with you. You guys know how I am with these readings. Um, I listen to spirit, and sometimes they can be a little emotionally intense. I myself was taking a little break and went to Costa Rica. King of Cups, guys, yes. I love this. This is so nurturing and supportive of your energy and your vibe. Some of you guys, I just heard, some of you guys felt really defeated. Um, also, some of you guys are dealing with, like, it feels like everything has abandoned you. Someone specifically, this is a very specific message, someone feels abandoned by this YouTube channel or by me. Um, I don't know who this is, and if I've made you feel abandoned, then I'm sorry. That's definitely not my intention. Um, some of you guys are just, you know, I don't know why I just heard that. Um, but outside of that, some of, a lot of you guys are dealing with feelings of abandonment, um, and things kind of leaving and 
you feeling safe to open your heart, not only to people, but to the world and to having experiences again. And this is an, another thing where spirit is telling you that the future ahead of you is, it does, it is going to be promising. It is fated to be promising. You may not be able to see it and some things are completely outside of our control, good and bad circumstances. And we can't, sometimes it's easier to find the good in a situation and understand the lesson or the blessing. Um, other times it can be really tough to find the lesson or what is what was the point of all of that. And even when we think we understand, we end up not totally knowing, it's just a guess. It's not for us to totally understand everything, it's for us to appreciate the fact that we do have it this moment here on Earth. Something about the King of Cups fully, fully understands that and embraces that. And as I'm saying this, you guys, it feels like you just had a release. It feels like you just had an emotional release. And now I wanna tell you to go sit in the tub or sit with warm water or put a warm, pour, warm rag on your face, on your neck, on your throat, and on the top of your heart and bask in that because it's gonna be so spiritually cleansing. All right, my loves, I did recently um, offer uh, Bahati Love Notes, which is basically daily readings, um, channeled messages that I do every single day from my backyard, <laughs> mostly, um, and I share those messages with you guys, that small group, I don't know why I'm stuttering so much, but this, this reading kind of has me stuck a little bit, but um, I'm going to cleanse myself, not that this is bad energy or anything like that, but I just feel like I have a lot to say, so I feel like there's, I'm like tripping over my tongue, so you guys might be feeling that as well, but um, yeah, so I started Bahati Love Notes and basically I do daily intuitive readings. It's not just tarot, it's very intuitive channeled messages. Under five minutes every single day, pretty much damn near every single day, except like Sundays I've noticed that I have that as a rest and every, maybe Monday. But um, yeah, for the most part, they've been going really well. Everyone's been loving it. Everything has been resonating per use. You guys know how I am. Um, if it's not the tarot, it's Oracle or whatever it is that I'm channeling. Um, so I will leave the links down for that down below. You can subscribe, it's $5 a month. And don't let the price scare, not scare you, but make you be like, okay, if it's $5 a month, why is it so cheap? There's a lot that's gonna come with that. You guys know that I typically sell under, um, instead of selling overpriced, I have always am being told that, but I've always felt that intuitive gifts should be able to have access. Everyone should have access to like actual authentic visions and intuitive gifts, so that's why it's priced at that. So everyone, and times are hard right now, man, um, for a lot of people, so I wanted it to be accessible for everybody. Also, another Costa Rica trip just opened up on the books. I'm gonna leave that down below. It's gonna be absolutely phenomenal. This Costa Rica trip for Bahati Life is gonna be um, called the Divine Feminine Immersion. Literally, we're going deeper into the jungle. We are going to be immersing ourselves in divine feminine energy, connecting with Mother Earth energy. We're gonna be connecting with like the animals, the elements, all of those things, rich, doing our rituals, tarot, connecting with each other. The last Costa Rican, uh, Costa Rican trip was life-changing to say the least. And I mean, I, I could, I should make a video or a blog or a vlog about it, but we just have little snippets, but I'll do what I can with that maybe, but I'm not making any promises with that one. But I will say that the links are down below. All right, guys, I'm gonna move on, move on to the next group. And um, thank you so much again. And I hope that this reading resonated and I hope that I see you um, subscribed for Bahati Love, no Bahati Love Notes. Also, it's on my Instagram too, but I know a lot of you guys aren't feeling Instagram lately. I feels you. All right, loves, I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, my loves, if you chose the second pile or the second card of encouragement, this is your reading. I'm gonna go ahead and just connect with oop, the vibe. Interesting. I just heard, <laughs> I just heard T-H-E-I-R, T-H-I-E-R, T-H-Y-R-E. <laughs> So it's like someone learning spelling or reading or a teacher, an educator. I don't know why Spirit is, is showing you. This is the difference between there, there, and there. I don't know, guys. You know how it is. Um, Spirit is talking to this group about uh, solar plexus, sacral chakra, and expression. Um, some of you guys 
if you chose the card encouragement, there's something that needs to be creatively expressed here. It needs to be called out. Some of you guys are like, just I've been trying. Like I can feel like I've been trying. Like you, it's like all this pent up energy right here. <laughs> it's all of this pent up energy. So basically what Spirit is showing me is that even though with the there, 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 um, I don't know why it's showing why that's, that's Spirit's way of showing that you have been doing the day to day so maybe if you're if your job is an accountant you've been crunching numbers but you might have like a creative streak or creative expression or you might want to write a book or there's something that you want to break free from you want to share you want to call out it's frustrating you to the point where some of you guys might actually be children or a creativity or creation something of your own that is that you've created some of you guys um I see like a actually like a masculine person um, sewing things together, especially like it's for some reason I'm seeing red like a red. I don't know why Spirit said like a loincloth, but or a coin purse. I can't. Spirit is showing me the words and I can't see if it's an L or a C, but it's like loincloth or coin purse. <laughs> maybe maybe it's the same thing. I don't know, but I don't really don't shoot the messenger. You know, I'm just kind of sh telling you what it is that I'm seeing. Um, basically, spirit is encouraging um, sewing in the creative arts and the creative industries. Um, if this is a masculine person who is straight, um, this is someone who gets called names sometimes based upon their their interests. But they're fully. I don't know why people are so hard on people who don't fit the fit the mold of what of you know society deems as like acceptable. Um, part of my French, but they can go fuck themselves. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think everybody should be able to do whatever, but I see, I don't know why there's a specific message of, of a male specifically. Um, yeah, following their passion and doing something that deviates from their norm. It might be a male who wants to be a fashion designer. For feminine energy, I see you, and to each their own, you guys, however it resonates for you. Yeah. Guys, I keep seeing Queen of Swords. Um, I just heard someone feeling stuck in the mud, which is so interesting because I feel like you're stuck in the mud and then I saw a vision of someone taking the mud and smearing it on their face. So there's this loud, wild explosion that needs to happen with those who have chose the card encouragement. It feels like you guys are have been stuck in the mud, stuck in your life, stuck in your routine of paying your bills or sustenance is what I'm hearing so it's like you having to do what you have to do in order to make it make it pay you know whatever the situation is look at this guys I'm telling you it's this wild calling with the with the judgment card here this is something that you hear loud and clear or someone needs you needs to hear you loud and clear um, for some of you guys spirit is having me go back to there 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 so they're saying that there's a difference between you, me, us. There's a difference, a very distinct difference. I don't know why they're using that example there, there, there. T H E I R, T H E R E, T H Y R E, and also how someone would choose to spell it. So if there's someone who's coming in and trying to correct, um, kind of what it was I was saying earlier just now with like masculine energy. It's like you want to like spell things your own way or you want to write things your own way and someone's saying, oh, no, 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 and they erase it and they put it here, but there's a reason why. It's like when someone says, I see you or I love you and most people spell I love you, I, the letter I, space, L-O-V-E, space, Y-O-U, um, and in this case, you're, you're like, no, I spell it because I'm a creative person, I, E-Y-E, L-O-V-E-Y-O-U. Um, so it's like you just don't want to be, you need to be heard. This is the, the group that needs to be seen, heard, loud. There's a lot of expression here. If this is not someone on stage belting out a song, doing karaoke, having their moment, then this is someone that you need to say, listen, N-O is a full sentence, or I love you, or I want you to be my friend. It's like this energy of like, ah, like getting it out. 
I'm hearing Spirit is saying that there's been a lot of things within you that's been trying to bubble up to the surface and you have been suppressing it. I don't know if you're trying to keep the peace. I don't know if you are trying to process. I don't know if you're trying to rationalize your feelings or your feelings don't make sense to you, but Spirit is like, it's time to let it out. Let yourself be heard. Let yourself be seen. When I was growing up, there was this quote that said, children should be seen and not heard. This is a person who says, you're going to see and hear me today. Whoa, King of Cups keeps showing up. Interesting. Clarify this, Spirit. Okay, Four of Wands just jumped out. So the last pile, um, the Gentle Gardener group, they also pulled the King of Cups. Their message was a little different, but I am getting this overarching theme about not filling your cup up because I feel like that's a cliche, but your emotional well-being, your emotional fulfillment, your emotional health. Wow, the lovers. And also, I'm also hearing compatibility in your relationships of all kinds. I know sometimes with the lovers, we think about like actual love, soulmate, twin flame relationships and romantic relationships and situationships or whatever the case is that you find yourself with dealing with in this experience here on earth or at this moment or the season in your life. But with the lovers card, this is about for me right now, this is about all relationships, not just romantic relationships. And I just heard call, call into question the relationship. What purpose does it serve? Some of you guys feel like spirit is talking about an impending, um, I want to be careful how I say this. As I said, it spirit was like, don't open up this box of worms. We'll cross that bridge when we get there and that's fine. Okay. So I'm just not going to talk about it. But um, we'll, we'll do another reading on this. <laughs> um, but yeah, some of you guys have a bit of a journey when it comes to this connection that's coming up to the forefront of your mind. Um, together, we will get through it <laughs> for good or for bad. Um, but for the vast majority, Spirit is saying, let's call into question our relationships and I'm also getting a strong sense that spirit is counseling you or the guides that are around you specifically are counseling you through, oh wow, and also encouraging you through this the relationships in your life, like the seasons that they're in right now. And that literally, you might wanna listen to the first card, Gentle Gardener, because there's this message about like nothing lasts forever. Um, two of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So this is about like maybe putting something being put on hold or something had been put on hold and in that holding period, you had a lot of time to yourself to process exactly what you were thinking and feeling what you wanted. And now it's just like, you're ready to like explode and just get it all out. Um, I actually feel like you guys are brewing, <laughs> like you're just brewing, or some of you guys have a lot of excitement and enthusiasm, but no outlet for it. And spirit is encouraging you that they will find, or they will help you find where your energy is destined to go moving forward. Because right now it does feel like there's this big question. Um, once you de uh, state to the universe or state to this person or state to your job or state to yourself, I'm not happy here. This is what I want. I want to be your friend. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Um, it just feels like things are going to start moving really, really quickly. Uh, this is the pile that I just feel big change around. Um, interesting because I was, I was also saying that in the first pile or the first group, uh, gentle gardener, but I, I see this card. I see this, this group, it's gonna happen really quick. And as I'm saying that, we have five and four equals nine. So you might actually need to listen to the first first, first group, Gentle Gardener, but to each their own. For those of you guys that choose not to listen to the first um, reading, basically number nine is what I call the number of unpacking. And um, this is what I told them. 
and basically it's when you've reached the end of the journey and you're unpacking everything and you're you are looking at it all and you're saying this is what i've learned this is what i would do differently this is what i'm taking with me and then you start a whole new chapter so this is someone who is about to rocket launch into something as soon as they explode everything that they need to say or admit it to themselves or admit it to another person it's on like donkey kong baby all right so that reading too was pretty short and sweet and to the point i kind of love that um, like I said, to those who chose Gentle Gardener, and the, like I will say, to those who chose Peaks of Joy, and I'm telling you, I created a new offering, a daily pull, a da daily intuitive messages that I've been sharing with the small group that have opted in on those fully detailed uh, channeled messages, mostly from my backyard. The charge for that is $5 a month. I did decide to keep it low and affordable, very, very affordable. So it doesn't even like hurt anybody for the most part if they're getting charged that. Um, they have been almost every day. I do believe that intuitive messages should be accessible to everyone, especially authentic intuitive messages. So that's why I'm creating that offering. I don't have any private readings available for anyone, but that's as close as it's really gonna get. Um, and honestly, I feel like it goes a little longer. Um, so eventually maybe um, next year I will open up for readings, but definitely to those groups that are part of the, um, membership, just because I, if I open up to the world, it's just going to be a, a tsunami wave and I don't like tsunamis. They're dangerous. So I'll leave the links down for, for that down below. Also Bahati Life is going to, oh, Bahati Life, um, is there's another, uh, retreat to Costa Rica. It's called the Divine Feminine Immersion. It's going to be absolutely amazing. The first trip was fantastic. This one is going to be amazing. I already know. Um, we're going to be focusing on Divine Feminine Energy, connecting deeply with ourselves, with Mother Earth, with nature, with the Divine. It's going to be lit, literally and figuratively, in a beautiful setting. Costa Rica changed me forever in the best way possible. So... All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and move on to those who chose Peaks of Joy. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, my loves, if you chose Peaks of Joy, Oracle card, this is your reading. I'm not entirely sure why my camera is having a difficult time focusing, but... I'm going to move on regardless. So let me just kind of connect with these energies real quick. As you guys know, of course, I read the tarot, but mostly I hear, see through my intuition. For some reason, spirit is showing me a, like a lollipop. Um, so spirit is showing me like a lollipop and then someone... It's like wet or something. It's like something that you lose and has ants on it. That's really specific. It's giving the energy of, I just heard lost and found. Some of you guys are, uh, I don't know how to say this, but spirit wants to talk to you about things that you want to return to. Jesus. And we have three of swords. Yeah. Spirit wants to talk to you guys about things that you want to return to that don't need to be found. Um, I'm also hearing that they're not in the same mint condition that you found them in originally. They've changed a lot. They're not the same person or it's not the same place or it's not the same circumstance that you would expect it to be. Um, Spirit says, we don't want you to get lost in the illusion of going back and retracing your steps only to find that this once beautiful thing is now sticky icky and disordered. Spirit is talking about um, or wants you to hear about letting people kind of choose their path. Um, and I heard that some people are being guided not out of your life permanently, but they're guided to go back to the start. Um, 
it's like they're they left something back at the start or they left something behind and they want they have to go back to pick it up they have to go back and just and sit with it and discover or look for it they have to do that themselves um if you chose peaks of joy i don't necessarily feel like this is your guidance to go back It's, I don't know why someone is showing me like some place that you once thought was like a home. If you go back to it, you'll, it, it could be years or months or something. You go back and it's just not the same place. Um, the sun card here is childhood home. Wow, guys. The emperor card, this was reversed. And the five of pentacles, it's like going back to a childhood home and it's just not safe anymore or it's not what it, it's better in memories, it's not better in present day. I do see someone back there though. I do see someone. Spirit's also showing me someone is like a chef or cooking or making food. Something's not sitting well with someone's stomach. Um, Spirit's talking about like the food that you eat, especially if it's like heavy. Yeah, guys, your stomach, literally, I just looked down. Your stomach is four of cups right now. It's trying. <laughs> it's trying to digest. It doesn't want to digest. It's like heavy carbs, heavy meat, oils, fats, grease. Just be real careful about those types of diets right now. It's your body is not going to... Spirit's actually also saying that for a lot of those who chose peaks of joy, um, what's really going to help you is a purification in your diet and stop saying yes to fatty, like foods that are heavy, condensed. Um, some of you guys are taking shortcuts when it comes to your diet and spirit genuinely wants you to go back to cooking. Emphasis on going back to cooking. Um, some of you guys are, are learning new ways of cooking. You cannot go back to the old ways. Maybe you learn something about your diet or you learn something about your health that now that you've learned this, you have to eat differently. Um, I'm also seeing how you handle stress or the lifestyle that you choose. It cannot have the same level of stress that you had before spirit is saying don't make a u-turn anything that makes you feel like you have to make a u-turn back there it's only going to set you up not for failure because you might be successful in certain things but emotionally or physically or with your health it's going to take a toll on you so going back to certain things is not the vibe it's not a safe stable spot for you to go back to you may have once enjoyed it or you may have once vibed with it, but the vibe is different now. The vibe is off. And if you go back, it's going to be five of pentacles type energy. It's going to leave a lot to be left desired. And three of swords, it's going to do more harm than good. Um, some of you guys are hearing, saying that, well, spirit is saying as you hear it, it will the truth of it will strike a chord within you and you will know. Look at you. Three of wands reversed. This is a card of don't look back. Do not invest ace of pentacles in waiting for this to come through. Yeah, of course, that, that person, that place, that thing, that diet, that lifestyle, you could always go back to it. But the truth is, is don't. <laughs> Why would you want to? What's going to happen when you go back? You're going to find that it's going to bring you down, drag you down, make you sick, make you unhappy, set you back a hundred years. Even as I'm saying this now, my stomach is starting. It feels like I have a rock. Like my my stomach is, I did not eat. And when I did eat, I, I, I ate well. Like I ate good food, you know? Like I had a nice salad um, with meat on it. Like a good, it doesn't matter. But my body is digesting. I feel a rock in my stomach. Like something, when I'm connecting with this group, there's this rock that's sitting in my stomach and I'm having a hard time digesting it. strength card spirit is talking about your physical mental emotional spiritual strength now and doing all the things they said a key, key 
It's so funny sometimes. It's, I don't know why this is funny to me, but it, sometimes when I hear spirits say things, it just makes me laugh. But they're they're going through like key points, <laughs> like bullet points. It's almost as if someone told you you need this, you need this, you need this, you need this. They, there's like specific key points of things that you know that you need to be doing. They're key points. Maybe you wrote them down. Maybe you were shown them. It's like dashes. Dash this. Dash this. Dash this. It's like a list. And they're like, like they're like pointing to it. <laughs> they're like, they know what they're, I know the, you're talking about Jess, they know. That's so funny. Some of you, we just came out of Thanksgiving. Some of you guys really need to throw away your leftovers. Your stomach is not going to take to it. Yep, seven of pentacles. Look at it, sniff it. Does it smell good? Does it smell fresh? Also, this is going back to that list of Seven of Pentacles, that list of this, 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 this is what's needed in order to make me happy, in order to make me healthy, and these are my requirements in order for me to have, you know, to say yes to this position. If not, it's just going to sit in your energy and it's not going to vibe well. It's not going to bode well. You guys don't... You're being called not to accept just anything. Yeah, the moon card. You, I don't know why I'm getting this message of you guys are, you, you're pretty clear on what it is that you want, but why is the moon card showing up kind of questioning, are you clear? If you're not acting like you're clear, then it's gonna feel like you're not clear. If you're not acting, if your actions don't match what you are, you know that you're called to do, then you knowing it defeats it's like kind of defeated. Like you, sometimes we kind of like nestle into the idea of, oh, I know I should do better tomorrow. Tomorrow's not here yet, so it doesn't count. Do better now. That's a very specific message, but the moon card is like, you kind of, you know better, but you disillusion yourself or you create an illusion around you. It says, okay, tomorrow, the next day, this, 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 or I do know better, but I refuse to accept that. So let's say if this is a relationship, you know that this person is poisonous, you know you don't like it. Um, something specifically about the nasal, the, the nasal cavity, like the nose, the sinuses. Um, it's interesting, it's like some of you guys just get like a pop, like there's pressure in there and then it pops and then it, then you can feel that you breathe. Some of you guys don't even realize that your diet is causing pressure. It doesn't feel bad, it actually feels like a nice release. Two of Wands, yeah, this is about you looking into your future and looking into what can I do now? Where is that, I don't know why, but I'm um, Spirit is like telling me to ask you, where is the list that you made of the things that it is that you said that you were gonna do, or the diet, or the Pinterest board? They're like, go back and look at that. It's like you know what you need to do. You have it saved, you already saw it. Um, but for whatever reason, three of cups, <laughs> even as I, I never noticed this before, but there's fruit at the base of their feet. There's like apples down there. I had some really delicious apples recently. Side note. Um, and also I, we had, we made this like pear, not dressing, but this pear simple syrup sauce. That was so good. Um, so good that we decided that we were going to create it again. Um, but yeah, it's like cooking fresh. Yummy. Okay. What else, Spirit? Because this, this group is a little all over the place for me. I mean, it's specific, but... Or maybe this is what you just need to receive. Whoa. I was just about to say, thou shall not steal. Because I heard Spirit say that. Um, thou shall not steal. Um, and then the devil card came out and then the four of wands. This is about some of you with the stealing, you have good intentions, but it's like you're stealing another person's lifestyle or you're stealing another person or you're stealing your own health or you're stealing your own happiness or you're confining yourself to something. This is something that doesn't belong to you, but you make it your own and you're just not meant, you're meant to venture beyond that. You're meant to venture past that, not to go back to what everyone else is doing or where you came from or the old past patterns that you broke free from. That's not your home. 
Remember how I said in the very beginning, it's like you're trying to go back to your home, but it's not. It's like maybe you'll, if you are considering, right, seven of pentacles here, if you're considering kind of biting the poisonous apple, not poisonous apple, but the fruit of temptation, you're going to bite it, the forbidden fruit, and you're going to be like, it's just not sitting well. It's just not sitting well. Let's say this is you going back to your hometown. I don't know why that, that message is coming through right now. We don't have six of cups energy, but it's giving six, six of cups vibes, kind of. Um, but let's say you're going back to your hometown, your home country or whatever. You go back there and you you journey. You think it's going to be like, oh, I'm going to come back home. and I'm going to want to be there. And you go back home. And you're just like, I forgot my old room. It doesn't it's It was nice for the first day. But then it's like, I don't want to stay here. I just want to go back. I'm, it's like you going back doesn't serve a purpose. And you don't figure it out till you get there. But Spirit is saying like, you didn't have to do all that in order to know that. Um, again, with the dis it's like you know it, but you don't allow yourself to know it. I don't know. I hope that makes sense, you guys. Um, but that's the message. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. I don't know what, what and who I'm channeling for when I'm doing these readings. I just kind of listen to the messages and I deliver them. Um, so definitely let me know down in the comments. Um, also I want to invite you to check out Bahati Love Notes, which is the subscription $5 a month where I do every day, daily, um, intuitive message shares, not just tarot readings, but actual authentic intuitive shares, mostly from my backyard, um, almost every day. Um, there's like Sundays or like a random day where I don't have the energy or you know, I'm, I'm preparing for Astro Chat Live or whatever the case is. So I don't force myself to do a reading if it's not there or if I don't have the energy because that would be self-defeating. Um, and it would do more harm than good. So um, I will link that down below. But like I said, it is $5 a month. Um, it'll get sent to you through your email. You'll have access to the blog. Sacred Circle Tarot School is being revamped and redesigned right now. So give that a year for those that are asking. I forgot to mention that in the other piles. Um, and then also the Costa Rica second trip has just been initiated, has just been opened. Um, it's the Divine Feminine Immersion in Costa Rica with Bahati Life. It's going to be full immersion in the jungles of Costa Rica. Lots of animal, animals, plant life, Mother Earth energy, healing, spa, horseback riding uh, by the waterfall. It's going to be way more... Um, secluded so there's going to be more opportunity of release and connection and relaxation for those that need it it's worth the investment last trip cha totally changed our lives and I'm sure that this one's going to change yours um also I'm not supposed to mention this but there's going to be more trips after this if all, goes well. all right guys I love you thank you so much for hanging out with me if you need me you can find me in Bahati Life Apothecary at BahatiLife.com and um yeah hopefully I see you in the subscriptions talk to you later